What is ZVM? The elevator pitch goes something like this. It is a price software package offered by IBM that can provide enterprise computing that scales. It is highly efficient in resource management and has the ability to deliver the power of a single Z-series server to thousands of diverse virtual machines running a variety of different operating systems. From transactional processing operating systems like ZTPF to the ever-popular ZOS to, yes, even Linux. Think of it as the enterprise version of a guitar amp. Take one server that can normally only service a few applications and pump up the volume so that an entire stadium of applications can take advantage of one of the most available and secure hardware platforms in the world. But that relatively quick description only scratches the surface. And to really appreciate what ZVM offers, we have to look at our history books, to a time when large-scale computing was in its infancy. That brings us to the original server, the IBM mainframe. You hear it in movies, you read it in books, but although the mainframe has a rich history, it is not just an artifact of the past, it is actually the backbone of the present. The mainframe was born as a large-scale computing environment in the 1950s. As all good things start, it was initially born out of research, but quickly picked up by businesses and organizations that saw value in consolidating various tasks. In a short time, it became the backbone for the IT world as we know it, and a powerhouse of transactional processing. Today, the modern mainframe is, in a nutshell, that large server that sits in the basement of our hotel chains, our airline companies, our banks, and everything else that makes our modern world tick. It quietly processes transaction after transaction as the unsung hero of IT. Now a piece of hardware is only useful if there are lines of code to run on it, but how are a bunch of diverse operating systems and application developers supposed to efficiently write code for a machine that can only run one operating system at a time? Well, the answer is a little hypervisor that IBM developed back in the day called CP40. This little operating system was the very first virtualization hypervisor and the matriarch of the ZVM product we know today. This hypervisor focused on emulating the various aspects of the real hardware and allowed for the creation of something the world had never seen before, a fully virtual mainframe. With this and several subsequent advancements over the early years, the stage was set for what was to happen next. The computing world absolutely exploded. For three plus decades in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, the era of personal computing arose, and as personal devices dominated the consumer market, mainframes became king of the back-end IT world, supporting the various new types of transactions that the world was innovating. To put the impact of this computing boom on IT into perspective for a second, imagine that you just started to learn how to juggle a soccer ball, and we're getting pretty decent at juggling just one. Now, imagine that four more soccer balls get thrown your way. You can't possibly juggle them all, so the only solution is to have more jugglers. For a lot of businesses, that was a solution. Buy more mainframes to support the growing needs of the business and various distributed systems at play. But that became an expensive solution, as businesses not only needed to buy the machines themselves, but pay for the space to house them all in their data centers. Luckily, virtualization didn't stop innovating at CP40 and in the early 2000s, ZVM as we know it today was born. ZVM came at a time when Linux was making its rise in the industry, and ZVM provided the means for which a Linux distribution could be run on an IBM Z server. With ZVM, IT businesses were able to consolidate thousands of distributed servers, getting rid of the need to have many physical machines running a small amount of work to only a few physical machines running a lot of work. Now, with a smaller physical footprint, the larger focus was on reducing the amount of required machine downtime for servicing hardware and software. Luckily, a ZVM virtual machine is not only powerful, but portable. With a ZVM system, you can actually move around Linux workload from one server to another without ever taking the guest operating system down, which helps to provide for the critical service windows that businesses today need to keep their IT sectors highly available. So then, let's ask again, what is ZVM? Well, it is one of the most robust virtualization hypervisors, which can turn a single IBM Z-series server into an army of virtual servers. It is a flexible test platform used to create the next generation of mainframe applications. It is a robust platform for deploying production workload and delivering machine time to your OS of choice. It is, quite simply, a platform that enables the IT industry to better service, test, and deploy the applications that matter the applications that reserve your hotel rooms, that book your flights, and that run our world.